Yeah, hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Revolve with Henry. Today I'll be talking about maturity in relationship. Maturity is very important as we go on in our relationship. It shows that, yes, we are serious. It shows that we value what we are about to do or what we are doing. It shows that, yes, you are taking responsibility because one of the things about maturity is the, the state of being mentally physically and emotionally well developed to take responsibility. One of the things you need to understand is, it's not finding a woman or finding a man that is very important, but what do we do? What follows it afterwards? How do we uh, nurture our togetherness to uh, attain or to achieve the height or the goals we have um, aspired? So quickly, one of the things you must understand is that there are a few things I would like to outline here which is very key as you look, go into that relationship or as you are in that relationship. Firstly, I'm going to say that before you go into relationship, there are a few areas you need to try and attain uh, maturity. Number one, physically. As a human, you need to be physically mature. You don't expect a child of 10 or 15 to go into marriage or go into serious relationship. Of course, physically, they cannot handle it. Not just because uh, of age, but when you look at certain key areas of physical maturity, you don't expect a 10-year-old girl to be pregnant and you don't expect a 10-year-old girl to be having sex. So one of the things you need to understand, even a boy of 10 years old, you don't expect them. Now, physical maturity is very important because it makes you to, to avoid certain stress and, um, and the problems that, come, that arise from togetherness within a man and a woman. So um, one of the things you need to understand is that physical maturity is important. And secondly, you need to be mentally mature as you go into a relationship or while you are in a relationship. You need to nurture your mind. You need to nurture your mind, develop the, your, your mental capacity. A man or a woman that is mentally mature can handle situations, can handle challenges, can, can, can take decisions, life-changing decisions, and it will help to make her relationship or his relationship better. So mental maturity is very important. It's, it's very, very key. Number three is you need to be emotionally mature. You need to be emotionally mature. A lot of people's relationship has crashed as a result of emotional immaturity, as a result of some anger management, uh, uh, lack of ang good anger management has made some relationship to crash today. Some people, they are out of their relationship or their relationship is not doing well because they are not handling things emotionally. Emotionally, they are not balanced. It's very key. It's very key that you build up your emotional uh, 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 status so that you can help to grow a healthy relationship. Number four is that you must look at, the, at spiritual maturity. At times, what happens in relationship is not just physical. It's not just physical. Some of these things that happen around us have spiritual undertones. And at times, you need to address things spiritually in order for, for things to normalize and for you to move forward. And this is very, very key. And number five is what I call social maturity. How do you relate with people out there? Some people that have poor social maturity, they cannot relate with people outside their homes or even it is affecting their relationship. Their spouses are complaining because some people just want to say, oh, I am introvert. I, I don't talk. I, I, I just like staying uh, alone. I just like to be alone. You see, you don't do that in relationship. If you are that type, mm, relationship is not for you yet. So, and finally is financial maturity. Money is very key to build a healthy relationship. One of the things that uh, break homes today is finance. So grow your finance, grow your uh, financial maturity. It will help to build a quality relationship. Now, a few more things I would like to drop today. Now, when it comes to maturity, psychologically, 
it is very important if you must build a healthy relationship because um, maturity is, uh, is, the, is, the, is the ability to respond to our environment as regards to who, when, and how. You see, so how, how we respond to circumstances and how we respond to people in our environment shows how mature you are. And when people see your level of maturity, they tend to appreciate you. They tend to um, associate with you. They tend to uh, connect with you. And it's even while raising children, they look up to you. Then your ma level of maturity is what makes children to make you their role model and follow your footsteps. So it's very important that we try to grow because it's a process as well. Maturity is a process. So you must submit yourself to the process of maturity. Some of us, we need to, we need to expose ourselves. We need to change our environment. We need to go out, move out, relate with people, read, study, make some research, expand your mind. You cannot get mature. You cannot grow if you don't open your mind to knowledge. If you don't ask questions, if you are not flexible, it is key because you, nobody is an island. You don't know it all. So you must be flexible enough. You must be open-minded enough to knowledge and to correction for you to attain maturity in any given area of life. So I'm going to drop a few tips that shows that you are mature and that shows that you are actually attaining a, a good height in the area of maturity, be it uh, financially, be it spiritually, be it emotionally, be it uh, uh, mentally. Now, one of the things that shows that you are mature is that you must say no to selfishness. Someone that is mature, consider other people's uh, 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 view, consider other people's opinion, consider other people's emotions, consider other people's feelings. You see, when you are in relationship, it's not, you don't use the word I, you use we, because you are not the only one there. For relationship to work, you must be selfless. You must look into the other person's life. Consider other person. As a matter of fact, you should think less of you and think more of the other person. You say, let me tell you something. When you go into relationship, what is your goal? What do you prioritize? You see, in going into relationship, one of the things that should drive you or motivate you is how do I take this person from point A where I met him or her to point B? That is, that is what makes you relevant in that person's life. If you meet someone in point A, five years, ten years down the line, the person is still in point A. Oh, come on. You are not a value. You are not adding value. You are not a plus. You are just, <laughs> you are just occupying space like matter. And you are not relevant in that person's life. One of the things you should look out for as you go into the uh, into relationship or in the life of your partner is how to add value. How to make this person shift. Make his perspective. Make his status. Make his finance. Make his emotions. Make his life to move forward. Let it add some inch, some meters forward. Not making the person static. No, 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 no. Relationship is all about adding value. It means you are bringing what you have to my life to make me become a better person. So that is why relationship shouldn't be one-sided. Don't be selfish in your relationship. Add value. What are you adding? What are you putting on the table that is making the other person get motivated to be successful in life? Number two, maturity tells you to trust and respect your partner. Don't tell me you're mature if you're not respecting me. If you can't respect your wife, you can't respect your husband, you can't respect your, 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 your spouse, you can't respect your partner. It doesn't show maturity. As a matured man or as a matured woman, 
respect your partner, indoor or outdoor, wherever you are. How do you reach him? How do you lift him before people? Don't talk him down. Don't talk her down. Whatever is your differences, let it remain between both of you. It's not for public consumption. It's not for the internet. No. Respect both parties. Remember, your input determines your output. So as a man, don't say I'm the head. All the respect out to come to you. No. Respect your woman as well. Respect your man. Respect your woman. Respect your children. At times, listen. How do you respect? Listen to their views. Sit down with them. Respect goes a long way as well as trust. In a relationship where there is no trust, I don't know what, what you I, I don't know what you're doing. Because when you trust your partner, it makes your partner, it, it, it brings about security. It brings about quality plan. It, it shows that there is a future. And it helps the other person, it helps your partner to be committed. Trust, build commitment in relationship. Another thing I want to draw up concerning things that shows that you are mature in relationship is that don't expect perfection from your partner. Your partner is not perfect. Likewise, you, you are not perfect. So then you must, you must be ready to tolerate. Tolerate one another. You must be, you must be open-minded. You must be flexible. Don't expect perfection. No, 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 no. From him or from her. So that simply means, that takes us to the next one, which means you must be able to accept mistakes. Maturity tells you to accept mistakes. Oh, I am wrong. Yeah, because you're going to be wrong. You cannot all be perfect in your views. No, you cannot all be right at all times. So the mistakes are bound to happen. And when it happens, oh no, take the responsibility. Accept it. Apologize. Saying you're sorry is one of the things that help relationship to grow. If you cannot apologize, if you cannot say sorry, come on. It doesn't show you are mature. Trust me. I was once in a relationship, it was very difficult for me to say I'm sorry. And trust me, uh, when you can't say sorry, it shows that you're proud. Yes, it shows you're proud. If you are humble and simple, what does it take you? When you say you are sorry, at times you need to you need to give up your rights to make things right. And the fact that you say you are sorry, look, it doesn't reduce you. And at times that you say you are sorry does not mean you are wrong. It's just that you sh you you shows that you are more mature. Yes, it shows you are more mature. So it's very important. And the next thing is this: what shows you are also mature in relationship? is your, your show of commitment. Your show of commitment. Your show of commitment. Your show of commitment. You can't say you are mature in a relationship when you are not showing commitment. How committed are you to your relationship? What is the time you spent with your spouse? What are the quality of, 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 of what is the quality of the time you spent together? How, 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 how do you talk to your partner what are the what are the words what 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 are the quality of words you you speak to your partner it's very very important that you show commitment in your relationship it shows you are mature i'm going to end it here today i hope to see you in my next episode don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and don't forget to press the notification bell and i look forward to your comments i really appreciate you god bless